guys welcome back to my youtube channel and for those who are new here thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing to my channel my name is being mona in africa so as i told you earlier about how i how i used to i don't like talking about it so don't mind me mumbling yeah I, I used to my experience living with them, my ex-husband the, because the, his characters he was selfish if I, if I go back I'm, he was really selfish yeah. he started dating around 207 yeah and then around 209 we got married yeah. he's a Muslim by the way so I changed my religion to yeah me <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know you know but before if I go before we used to there were red flags but you can't notice because the love he gave he gives you the first week hey how are you how are you doing how's your night and he keeps he keeps calling you meet you know younger too how love the so I, I finally fell in love with him so company it's it's their behavior the narcissists it's their behavior when they finally know that you are falling in love so now the, the, it's the time they act. I don't know I'll call it attack they'll attack now their behavior it all they cannot understand so when you cheat so we are we are doing well i love you and i noticed some <laughs> those red flags now that's why i started seeing when you when you, when someone when someone how is it so he started showing his true characters when he when we used to both work so when i come back home i find him at home so maybe there's something happened at work or with someone or maybe his girlfriend you never know because he cheated on me how i found out i'll get there it's like you're the one who is the cause of what happened so you have to lock it on in yani for eggshells I don't attend bear the car, no go pan. I can't have any kind of anxiety when I see him when he keeps quiet. It's like, what's up? What's wrong? It's like, you are the one, you are the cause of what is going through at the moment. So, little by little, I become, and I noticed this behavior. Kumbe, the guy was cheating. I thought he was working, he went for work for like one week or so. Kumbe, the guy was uh, had an, uh, an affair with a white girl. It's okay, but it's not okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's not okay. And the girl called me. But hey, hey, swipe. I told him, come on, beer. Ask the owner of the phone. Don't stop calling me and asking me stupid questions. Kumbe, in Juliet, Ashida. And because it's a fault, it's my fault. It's my fault. Then he called that lady there at our house. Imagine. And at Nikwabado, I'm still there. At my prince. So it kind of to evil. I started. I started. So the other thing is when a lady calls him on his phone, say, see, it's a lady. I see frequent calls from the same lady. When I ask him, who is she? I'm not the one who told the, the, the lady to call me. Eh? I didn't know if he, she will call me. So stop asking me stupid questions. And he, 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 and he used to, and he, he said that. So when you ask him that question, there will be silent treatment in that house. He will even not talk to you for three days or four days. And you are the one who will end up defending yourself and saying sorry. Imagine you saying sorry. Living with that 
with such a, such a man on the same house every day every day sometimes he doesn't eat at because we kasirisha na si wewe you are too he accused of cheating if he started accusing me of cheating i knew he was the one who, he was the one who was cheating so when that thing happened some of you will ask why i stayed i said because sometimes they just they start sasa if they notice that the one who when the reason why i stayed is because when he, he knew, he, i started even me now treating the silent during the t- silent treatment used on me against me taki notice hivyo anaanza kukua sasa analeta ile mapenzi ya kwanza he start now showing you the affection the love you the taking for dinner outings Uy, mom. but nikaamua sasa acha nicheze kama mimi the way <coughs> i started now being tough on him because i realized he was just playing me <coughs> when ramadan comes ramadan you are supposed to go as a family you used to go alone i'm new to the your dini the religion i'm supposed to have guidance from him but it's like i was married to myself i was in a relationship alone so I, slowly by slowly i started <laughs> so i started so there's this one day did i ask about then he started again cheating when i i travel i find some small stuff like earrings what what if you ask him to be able to cure the problem but, and then he left and he, what i know about having a relationship and having a husband is when you is leaving or traveling to work for work somewhere out of the town is supposed to tell you a day before he used to tell me you are sitting there since morning till dawn and tell you i'm leaving tonight to some place so i used to wonder i love when you call him he doesn't pick up when i call him he doesn't pick up yes he, he doesn't respond back i saw this i oh, this guy is just choosing me using me it's giving me like a drug now he's finished with the drug I'm already married I've already changed the religion so he saw that there's no way I'm going to live he saw that I'm mad in love with him but the love started now shuka so there was no love between me and him I started despising him I started resenting him when he comes I say why did he come should have been where he was because this resentment will lead to something bad so I had to walk out I left I came back here at home when I come back at home my dad was still alive that time I told him about the situation my dad told me you just have to you just stay here with us I didn't come I should be talk or anything but it's okay I decided to move on with my life. Then all of a sudden, after three to four months, he calls me. He wants us to talk about our marriage. So I asked my dad. My dad told me just go and listen to him. I gave him a second chance, as stupid as I was, but I gave him a second chance because he apologized. And you know, I had a sister apologizing. He wants to co- to gain the control back because now you've known him. He knows you know him, but now he just give you. He wants to take the control back. So I went back. Bado had changed. Bado he hasn't changed. Ha! Ah, here I'm not going to stay. <laughs> At the day I walked out, I even stayed for only two months. Those are long days, long, long months. One week, one month he was okay. Then the, the, the next month he started behaving the way he used to. I decided to walk out now for good and I told him now I'm leaving you and never call me back never 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 
and then I had this great news I was pregnant I can you I was pregnant it was a miracle because I have a baby yeah it was a baby let me just leave it here. Yeah, I got pregnant. Now with my son, Aiden. I'm glad he's here. He's the one who makes it the most important thing in my life now. So those signs I saw, there were red flags. I stayed. At the divorce. <laughs> so when it came for divorce, <laughs> The guy refused that's another story for another day because even if i'm the way i'm talking here any bum it's not i don't i just I, i'm just talking the guy made me change i cut many people out yeah it became different <laughs> even my sisters they were worried about me but that we will continue talking about it. That's my story. Continue watching. Watch out for the part of the divorce. How it changed my life. Yeah. I went into depression. I came out of the depression. We will continue talking. I'll continue telling you the story. I'm mumbling, sorry. I just don't like talking about that guy. But I had to because I told you about the, my ex narcissist husband. Yeah. So, see you later. If you like this kind of videos, please subscribe, like, share. And for more content, please, please support me on my PayPal account. I'll write it down below. Yes. Bye for now and thank you for watching. I love you guys. This is for anyone who is experiencing now or has ever been in such a relationship with a narcissist. Mine was an emotional narcissist. The silent treatment he used to give me, it was very, very, I don't know, I went through a lot. It took me time to recover and was, I was still, I was, when I left, I was, I was pregnant. Yeah, I have the baby, my baby boy. I was four months then. So anyone who is in such a relationship now or has experienced some, something like, I did. There are different types of narcissists. They are manipulative. There are those who are manipulative. There are those who are emotional, like my ex-husband. There are many, many, many ways. Many, many. There are many different types of this disorder. It's a disorder, I tell you, guys. It's called NDP, NPD. It's narcissist, personal personality disorder if I'm not wrong yeah those kind of people they think they are the kings those kind of people think they are the kings at the expense of people they inflated ego they are selfish they think they are the ones who are hurt they can use something that they did against you like my husband did to me he used to do that to me but I thank God I, I got up from there strong, but I was depressed. It took me time to heal. Even dating was a problem. Yeah. So I was saying for anyone who has experienced that, know that it's not your fault. It's theirs. True. Yeah, it's their fault. It's their fault. Be good to yourself. Find support from your friends and from family. They'll help you like my family helped me. Yeah. Now I'm okay. Like I'm ready to date. But <laughs> as I told you, I experienced last year 
the same type of but him is manipulative <laughs> let me laugh at myself <laughs> but uh, at least i saw the i saw the signs early just cut off relationship any relations with him yeah so that's it for those who want if you still want to know my divorce story please subscribe continue liking i'll find the courage to talk about it again yes be good to yourself love yourself and please the red the red flags they are good you have to follow the red flags and leave immediately kablo jajingisha talking about it in any boat like it's okay at least i've moved on i've moved on and i know it's not my fault <laughs> hey trust yourself educate yourself about this type of people because you never know <laughs> there are many out there okay bye